Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 24. In this question we have a compound shape and it says it's made of a square and three similar triangles. We're given some information, angle GFE is 60 and GF is 4 cm, so let's add that onto the diagram. Now since all of the triangles are similar triangles, they must also each have a 60 degree angle. So we can see this one here will be 60, and so will this one here. Now we're also told that line ABCD is a straight line. Since the shape in the centre is a square, it must have right angles here and here, and since ABCD is a straight line, there's also right angles here and here. So all of the triangles are right angle triangles, so we must also have a right angle in the top triangle, which would be EGF up here. Now since they're all triangles and we found two of the angles, we can find the remaining one by subtracting those from 180, which leaves you with 30 degree angles for the remaining angle in each triangle. Now let's look more closely at angle FEG. We know the angle in here is 30 degrees. We know the side GF is 4 centimetres. Let's do some trigonometry. This length here will be the hypotenuse. This one here is the opposite. And this one here is the adjacent. So we're able to write down sine 30 equals the opposite, which is 4, divided by the hypotenuse. Now sine 30 just equals 1 half. So we need to find a value of h so that we end up with 4 over h being 1 half. That will be 8 since 4 over 8 is 1 half. So the value of h is 8. We can add this to our diagram. Now let's also find the adjacent. For this we can write cos 30 equals the adjacent which we don't know, divide by the hypotenuse which we now know is 8 centimetres. Cos 30 equals square root 3 over 2. So we can find the adjacent by multiplying this by 8. So we end up with square root 3 over 2 multiplied by 8, which is the same as 4 root 3. So we can label this onto the diagram as well, we now know the length GE is 4 root 3. Since the shape in the centre is a square and we know one of its side lengths, we now know all of the side lengths, they must all be 8 centimetres. Now let's take a closer look at triangle ABE. We know the angle at the top, that's 30 degrees, and we know the height of this triangle is 8 centimetres. We can use trigonometry again to find some missing information. We have the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent, so we can write down that tan of 30 equals the opposite, which we don't know, divided by the adjacent, which is 8. Tan 30 is the same as square root 3 over 3, so the opposite must be square root 3 over 3 multiplied by 8, which is 8 root 3 over 3. We can add this to our diagram. And finally, let's look at the triangle CFD. We know some information about this triangle, the angle at the top is 60 degrees, and the height is also 8 centimetres. We can use trigonometry again, so let's label the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. And we can find the opposite using tan. So tan of 60 equals the opposite, which we don't know, divided by the adjacent, which is 8. The value of tan 60 is square root 3, so the opposite is just square root 3 multiplied by 8, which is 8 root 3. So let's add this to our diagram as well. We're now ready to calculate the area of the shape, which is what we've been asked to do in the question. Let's start with a square. So the square is side length 8, so it's just 8 times 8, which is 64. Now let's look at this triangle here. To do the area of a triangle, we do half times the base, which I'm going to say is 4, times the perpendicular height, which is 4 root 3. This will give you 8 root 3. Now for this triangle here, once again we do 1 half times the base, which is 8, times the perpendicular height, which is 8 root 3 over 3, and this gives you 32 root 3 over 3. And finally, onto the last triangle, we've got 1 half times the base, which is 8, times the height, which is 8 root 3. And this gives you 32 root 3. So we now have all of the areas, we just need to add all of those up. To add these up, we need a common denominator, so we need to get 3 on the bottom of all of these. So 64 could be turned into 192 over 3, 8 root 3 would be 24 root 3 over 3, and 32 root 3 would be 96 root 3 over 3. And if you add all of these together, you end up with 152 root 3 plus 192 over 3, which matches the form we were asked for in the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.